afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Cruiser Chris World Network, and we're back with another cooking demonstration. Today, we're going to make cauliflower pizza. So, a few things you need to do before you make cauliflower pizza, one of which is put your seatbelt on. That way, when you get excited because you're making cauliflower pizza, you can avoid falling out of your chair. So the next thing we're going to do um, is wash our hands, which we've already done, and now we can begin the process. We have two cauliflower pizza crusts on a baking pan. We then, using the assistance of a spoon, take the tomato sauce. This time we're going to use Prego and we pour the sauce over the pizza crust. Making sure that both crusts are covered by sauce. So, after we've done that, sauce container goes over here. Then you can take your spoon and generously spread the sauce over the corners of the uh, crust, making sure that all parts are thoroughly covered by sauce. Tracy, just to remind you, I can only record up to 15 minutes right now. So now that one crust is completely covered, we can come over to here, here to the second crust. and do the same process. Now, these crusts are a little bit loose because I didn't put them in the freezer, but it's advised that if you are going to do a pizza, due to the fact that you have to have it be gluten free. You need to put your cauliflower crust in the freezer. I had mine in the refrigerator. So just for storage purposes, put it in the freezer next time. That will keep it safe and we'll keep it from falling apart okay 
I think we've got it pretty much spread out the way. Okay. So then now, you put the spoon down. You. And then you start putting your toppings on first. I like to use pepperoni. So we're going to take some of that out and going to put it on the pan and slowly start to spread it out leaving a bit extra in the bag to use for something else maybe in the future. So we just begin by picking up yeah, and we dropped one on the floor but the floor was hungry. So picking up the pepperoni slowly spreading it through the crusts I did scatter pepperoni throughout the pan purposefully so that it would be easy for me to reach and you didn't have to watch me go back and forth between the bag of pepperoni and the pan. Remember to 